All right, another day here. Um, I'm in King of Prussia. Wife and daughter had a pop-up today. So here and about to go find a spot to get some coffee and start my day. It's another beautiful day. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. So if you watched the last episode, you know I was talking about, in the very beginning of the episode, I was talking about psychological safety nets. And one of the things that happened yesterday is I had a, there was a lot of activity yesterday. It was like back to back to back activity. But what happened is the day slipped away from me. So I wasn't able to prioritize the things that I really needed to do for me. Um, one of those things was going to the gym. But the other things, there were some other work things that I, I really wanted to get um, finalized that I did it and the day just kind of just slipped out of my hands. And it made me feel like in the moment, like I lost control of the day. And I, that never happens. That, I should say, I shouldn't say never. Rarely happens where I feel like I lost control of the day and it just slipped out of my hands. Um, so I, so today, it's, I feel like I have to make up for it. Um, a, getting to a gym, and then B, doing the things that I said that I was gonna do that I didn't do yesterday. So, and it just goes to show, like we all have these psychological safety nets that we need uh, to function, to feel that we have a sense of control over our destiny, I mean, you can go my, macro with it, destiny, or even just the next best step or the next best decision. Um, so I have about an hour or two here, so I'm gonna spend a little bit of time just getting myself organized. <laughs> if you watched uh, yesterday, uh, the last episode, uh, there was a theme of organi getting organized. And it's really like dialing in on what that, what that, what that means for me right now and what i can say is and i'm not going to spend too much time on this but i just want to just leave you with this is most things flow out of your identity like your identity who you are who you say you are is what everything flows out of and if there's misalignment in that you're fragmented and you're not as impactful um or even you you can't be as intentional as you really want to be and that all starts with your identity and who you are and that's where this whole idea of the psychological safety net i don't even know why i'm on this topic like i am right now but it's just you know i got a taste of it yesterday of what it feels like not to be in the, the let the day just um slip out of your hands um but here we go stay tuned um I'm going to be here for a little bit, so I'll keep you in the loop. If you were following along, um, I decided to put a pause on the office hours because based off the feedback and things, the responses I was getting, I wanted to provide more value. Like I saw there was more that could be done just than just like a 15 minute call. So I wanted to put a pause on it so I could begin to really hone in on what the value um, that I can bring to you to help you go from point A to point B. Um, not just because I'm a, trying to be a guru or anything, but just by the mere fact of sharing, uh, sharing the, the lessons that I'm getting on the fly, like that I'm learning in real time. Um, so what I was doing, I was building this flywheel of, of things that once this happens, this happens, this happens, this happens. And it was a flywheel of value uh, that you could benefit from. So I was, I actually sketched it out and I'm working on it even more. I just want to show you. I don't know if you were able to see it, but that's how it usually starts. So you can't really see it here, but what I'm doing is just like really honing in on who it is that this is gonna benefit the most. It might be you, it might not be you. Um, but the bottom line is, if it is you, it's gonna be so tailored to your specific needs around um, things that I'm actually going through in real time, uh, it can be game train changing. And now it's, it finally feels like I'm starting to get to the, the, um, 
the the crust of what this was all about which is transform reality master you now and that's what you know that's it's becoming clear and clear the vision um is emerging and it's becoming clear and i'm just you know being a good steward of the vision just documenting it as it as it happened but i want to make sure that as that's taking place you're benefiting as well that you this is not just a passive um passive uh passive content if you will so um working on that and i'm going to show you another version of that give me a second give me a second just hold on G give me a second for me a lot is having a vision being able to visualize the thing that i'm looking to produce uh and you notice if you've been following along you notice i like to go from i like to go from my notebook to to a deck a presentation that i can actually see and begin the vision and then once i start you know get the, the vision is clear then i can begin to drill down uh to find the oil or to find the value that's going to spring out spring out of the vision so these are things that i'm going to share inside of what i'm calling like a vault of sorts of some of the things that i'm learning like how do you put this together how do you do it fast how do you use ai like i'm going to put this in a place because sometimes this vlog doesn't allow me to go deeper into topics because everything i'm doing right now and from the vlog perspective is all unscripted and because it's unscripted i'm just coming off the top of my head um and i'm just sharing what i think would be of value in that moment i want to be able to there are things that you know i get questions about or even I want to personally go deeper on, and I want to, you know, put the uh, put the time aside to do that, and I want to share those learnings um, with you, and that's that's what I'm doing here. Like I'm I'm really trying to like seeing how can I extend this vlog into more of a a, a live, real time uh, learnings for everyone that that's interested. In building the type of company that um, we're, we're pioneering and we're, we're discovering together so um, yeah so let me know let me know in the comments does this make sense <laughs> I, I, I won't get out if it doesn't but anyway um, stay tuned all right we're done with the pop-up here at um, the mall getting something to eat and uh, stay tuned so when you're moving at a, a really fast pace something sometimes the ball is going to drop and you know today was definitely a lesson in the ball dropping uh yesterday no well yesterday was a lesson yesterday um the day like i said earlier the day just got away from me so the consequences of that kind of bleed into the next day and you're always trying to just run down uh to get things back in order and it, it is tough it's not easy because like i said you're juggling I'm juggling all these different things and when that one day the train goes off the track what is the what did the rapper say pick it up pick it up pick it up uh, so that's you know today trying to get everything back on track um as it was but with that said i just want to put that on record make a note of that note to self note to self note to self if you don't get things back on track what happens is one day leads to two days two days leads to three days Next thing you know, the gap gets wider, so that's why um, getting it back on track is, as fast as possible, nipping in the bud, is so important. All right, yeah, so I'm back here at the office, and jump right into it. Jump right into um, working um, on something that was really important that I had to get done. I um, wanted to get this out the door by Monday. So let me uh, take you inside. I, I showed you a little bit, but let me take you inside. Yeah, I'm looking to have this launched by... Uh, July 1st and getting some more specifics on how I'm going to run this playbook here and the focus here is just like building leverage and the way I think about leverage is in, it's in four different buckets um, the people leverage, tools leverage, product leverage and capital leverage and that's what um, as I'm analyzing, as I'm evaluating how uh, I'm going to implement this, I'm going to execute this and I'm always focusing on the leverage. And with the leverage is how, you know, I set my expectation on what I can expect to be done, um, or expect the impact to be made. So 
These are the four buckets. People, tools, product, capital. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to fill this out and really like um, dial in on the leverage. And leverage grows. So I'm looking for what's the minimum amount of leverage based off of what I have in front of me right now. What's the minimum leverage I can create in the shortest amount of time? And that's what you know leverage is. Maybe I should have maybe I should have defined uh, what leverage is before I, I, I got into it. Okay, let me start this over again. I should have explained to you what is leverage before I got into it. So give me a second here. Can you explain to me in the most simplest form what is leverage? Leverage is using something extra like money or help from people to do more than you could on your own. Thank you. You're welcome. So that's what leverage is. So let me go back over to my slide deck. So now that we know at a very simple level what leverage is and how to create leverage, these are the four buckets that you know I work in. I think about when I think about leverage. What people like people leverage tools leverage what tools am i using um do i have a product because you, you create leverage with product because i'm not trading my time for my money so the best way to do it is create a product um and then capital leverage so what i'm doing is i'm just um, assessing auditing um what points of leverage i have right now and how to make the most out of it okay now that we know what leverage is let me show you the four buckets again so that you can see how I think about and how I'm dialing in on uh, bringing this to fruition. So I look at people leverage, tool leverage, product leverage, and then capital leverage. So spending some time now just to dial these four things in and looking for just the smallest amount of leverage I can um, build up with what I have right now, with the resources that I have access to right now, because leverage grows. Leverage can grow and it compounds over time. So with that said, there you go. Done for the day. Today was extra long day, <laughs> extra long day. Um, but I feel back on track. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to hit the gym then I really feel back on track. Um, but I do feel back on track. Earlier today I felt upside down and that momentum was slipping and Momentum right now is priceless. But anyway, if there's anything in this video that resonated, we'd love to hear from you. Um, I'll be hanging out in the comments for a little bit. Um, with that said, peace.